Oh, hey everybody, uh, Mrs. Farley and I are playing with uh, this fun circle here, having a good time learning all about shapes. So she has a fun book for you about shapes. Can you find shapes? Hey, look, I think I have some shapes on me. What do you see? Do you see my circle eyes? Oh, do you see my rectangle right here? I have a rectangle flap. Oh, that's cool. Oh, more circles. Oh, what else can you find? Oh, this is going to be so fun. Hey, everybody. How do you like my It's a Circle game? Uh, if you have a circle, stand up. Whoop. So, I have this cool book for you here. Circles, Triangles, and Squares by Tana Hoban. And we are going to look in this book. And what do you think we're going to see? Shapes. Shapes. We're going to play a game with shapes, but this time someone took photographs with a camera of lots of different shapes that they saw everywhere. Hey, I see shapes behind me. Those, each one of those letters is on a rectangle piece of paper. My big book is a rectangle down there. Let's look for shapes all around you, everywhere. <gasps> I love it. The first page. Look what they did. Instead of drawings, they took pictures, and those are spheres. You might say circles, but a bubble is a 3D shape called a sphere. Cool. Look at the rabbit hutch. I see. What shapes do you see? Did you say rectangles? How many rectangles? Can you count them all? If there's four on the top and four in the middle, and four on the bottom. Count them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ooh, twelve's a tricky one. First a one, then a two. That's a twelve, that's a twelve, that's a twelve. All right, check this one out. Oh, a sign. Is it, what shape is it? It's, you might say a diamond, but when you turn it sideways, it's actually a square. Ooh, look at the circles down below on the pipes and the rectangle. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, look at all the pipes. Circle glasses. Circle lollipop. Oh, look behind her on the fence. <gasps> More squares. So many squares. Oh my gosh. Wow, I don't even think we could count them all. There's so many. In math, you can make an estimate, that's a guess, to see how many do you think are there? And then you could try to count them. That'd be a lot to count, I don't know. I think that'd be like over a hundred maybe. Ooh, what's on this? Look at that. Look at these rectangles. Oh, triangle, you found a triangle. <gasps> Look at a house, that has lots of shapes. How cool is that? Can you see? Circles, squares, triangles, and rectangles all on one house. Wow, that's fun. What do you think will be next? Did you find something? You can go around your house and find things that are shapes. You can see when you're out, if you're riding in the car, you can look out and see what's around you. Hula hoop, all right, and look at the wall. Don't miss anything, look at all the details. You see the big circle first, but you notice the ladder and the bumper, what shape are those? Tell someone in your family, I see squares, I see rectangles, I see circles. Ooh, you can learn to write that. I, space, C, you can write S-E-E, -E. And then you can write, ask your family how to write the word circles or squares. What's here? Oh my gosh, look at this bridge. This bridge has so many shapes on it. Shapes are everywhere. That's why it's so important that we learn about shapes because we use them for building and making things. Very cool. Can you see all the squares and triangles? That is fun, I like that one. <gasps> Even better, playground equipment has a lot of shapes. I see a triangle. Oh, she's building, she's using cards to build a house of cards. Instead of playing a game with it, she's building with it. 
and making triangles. All right. And the card, uh, the actual card itself is a rectangle. Circle bicycle wheels. Oh, look down here, though. Look right here. Triangle window, rectangle window. This is a cool book. <gasps> Boom, what do you see? Oh, lots of little punch buggy Volkswagens with lots of circle tires. All right. <laughs> you can make a hat. Oh, your bench or your carriage. Look at that. Look at all the shapes there. All right, what's this one? Boom. I don't know. A pile of things they used in construction, I think. Squares. Oh, yay for tennis. A tennis ball is a sphere. Oh, look at my tennis strings. I love playing tennis. Each string, and when you crisscross it, look, they're tiny rectangles. Or they could be squares. It depends on the way you string it. Cool. Oh, look at her. I missed the shoelaces. The little circles there. Are you starting to find things around your house or even on your shoes and stuff? Oh, making cookies or using Play-Doh. You can cut out shapes. This is an old-fashioned. Before we had computers, long ago, we had something called a typewriter. And that was our style of having a computer. You just push the button and it clicked a letter. It was pretty old. More tires, more shapes. Oh, these are old-fashioned roller skates we used to have. You kept your shoes on, and you put your shoe in there, and then you tightened it with a little key, a roller skate key. It was, they were kind of rough. They didn't work great like the ones we have now. There you go. It's a crane, all the way up the crane to pick things up that are heavy. How many triangles could we find there? Wow, we can make an estimate of how many triangles there are. We're almost done. Hang in there a little longer. Oh, look at the tires they use so they don't bump the side of the dock. That's a way to recycle old tires and to make a bumper. Oh, cheese. All right. Ooh, triangle cheese. That's making me hungry. <laughs> Last one. Kids playing on a playground. Yay, us. We love to play. Shapes, shapes. We're going to play a game with shapes. What can you find in your world that has lots of shapes? I hope you have fun. Hey, even my badge is a shape. Look, it's a rectangle. Having a good time. See you next time.